And now, as we said, we have new insight into the power of food cravings and the human brain. Here's Sharon Alfonsi on what's new and what you do. The pictures of a cute, chubby kid only tell part of the story. Michael Prager says he didn't just overeat. I was uh, stealing to get uh, food, both food and money to get food. There was never really enough for me. But now a new study reveals why some of us can't stop eating. It's not willpower, it's a real addiction, and it has to do with the way our brains are wired. First, researchers asked women a series of questions. Did they feel sluggish, anxious, or withdrawn about food? Then they were shown a picture of a chocolate milkshake. When a healthy woman saw it, a part of the brain that deals with anticipation, called the caudate, does not respond. The picture doesn't trigger any cravings. But when a food addict saw the milkshake picture, that same part of the brain lights up. They have to have it, craving it like a drug. Then the women were given an actual taste of the milkshake. With normal women, the part of the brain that shows you're satiated lights up. They feel fulfilled. But the brain of women with food addictions barely respond. They don't feel satisfied. So doctors say they're more likely to overeat, chasing that fulfilled feeling. Researchers say the way a food addict's brain responds to food is strikingly similar to the way a drug addict's brain responds to drugs. There's probably very important implications for prevention and treatment that we could learn from the substance abuse literature and apply it to over overeating. To that end, Michael Prager went to rehab to treat his food addiction. Today, he is 165 pounds lighter. I'm recovering a day at a time, but I have no doubt, oh God, I have no doubt that if I let these boundaries down, I would be back with my head in a trough of food in very short order. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.